Despite a lack of modern amenities and threats from a mysterious illness, the Batik people at Kampung Kuala Ko in Kelantan are not about to leave their village. The Tok Batin of the Orang Asli settlement, Mohamad Poko, claims that the village is not only hit by the disease, but it does not have proper water nor electricity supply. Ada yang air tandak tu, kita minum air tandak tu. Kita tak, kita tak sengke yang mana kita bukan nak tuduh air yang ni ada, yang ni ada. Pasal yang sungai kita minum yang mana je kita minum. Pindah sini minum air, sungai ni, pindah sini minum air ni. Kita tak, tak sangka yang ni, mana yang ada penyakit. Masa dia buat tu bersih lagi, dia punya air elok lah, dia punya air tu. Sekarang dia tak elok lah. Dia menembang balak, sejak dia menembang balak, dia, dia tutup dia punya air. Kita tutup, kita jam dua bulan, kita minum air selalu. Tapi sekarang ni ada air dia, tapi nak minum tak boleh lah. Tak berani minum lah. Apabila dia ada orang meninggal, lah, lepas meninggal meninggal tu, kita rasa, rasa, rasa takut lah dalam diri kita. Tapi insya Allah, Alhamdulillah, ada orang juga um, kesihatan masuk, semua orang cek, uh, terus ke hospital lah itu. Saya harap uh, kepada pihak hospital uh, dapat kerja bersama dengan sidang penyajian ni lah. Saya harap uh, insya Allah akan baik lah untuk kampung kolokoh ni. Untuk. While clean water has been restored, many villagers are afraid of drinking it. They are now depending on supply brought in by eight workers. Health authorities are working with neighbouring states to determine the source of the illness. The village continues to be a restricted area to the public as authorities are locating 12 graves of villagers said to have died of the disease. Nine out of 12 graves have been located since the search started on Wednesday.